What is going on you guys make it Wayne back and today once again we have spin the wheel I appreciate all the support on this series guys if you want to continue to see it as much as possible Make sure to leave a like right now But in the last episode if you did miss it click the link in the description down below before you do watch this one We got a viewers choice and you guys made the decision very clear We're gonna get another bullpen arm in a roll this Chapman everybody did want this card He's going to be absolutely Absolutely sick to have with Billy Wagner in the bullpen is really coming together so here is a quick look at the lineup if you guys did forget this is the one we are going to be rocking with no bad inside edges because it's after the all-star game so this lineup should be good to go now since the last episode I did play a couple of online games and I did win both of them so we're up to 588 we're on the road to World Series Let's get it. Taking a look at my opponent's lineup, he has his creative player, Pete Alonzo, Michael Brantley, Edwin Incarnacion, Nick Sinzel, Alan Trammell, Jeff McNeil, and Carson Kelly. I almost said Kelly Carson. I hate when I do that. We both are getting Kershaw on the mound, but one thing I wanted to say is I did spin second base for the Dodgers a while ago, so should I be able to use that home run derby, Max Muncy? You guys let me know down below in the comment section. We might actually have the advantage in our lineup this time going up against the lefty and Clayton Kershaw as I give this one a ride to start the game, but not enough of one. Here we go, getting our first look at Kershaw in this series. Definitely the best pitcher on our team, and hopefully he can show that here. Pete Alonzo up, home run derby winner card. This card, a ton of power, so we definitely have to be careful with him. Not trying to give up too many dingers in this one, especially since we are playing in Yankee Stadium as well. And just like that, I give up a dinger, man. Holy cow. These cards are absolutely insane. And that's how quick a game can change right there. Down 1-0 off the solo homer by Pete Alonso. Getting the first K. I definitely do expect to score a lot of runs in this game because we have a righty dominant lineup and we've got a lefty on the mound. We can make something happen here. Three and two count. What do you got for me, Kershaw? That one is in the zone all over it for the first hit. I think I should go back to it one more time, but this time... Hopefully we can get it down in the dirt. See ya. That's all I can ask for. Come on. What can we get? I am on that one. Of course. Looking for back-to-back -back strikeouts. If we can, throw a good pitch here. Sit down. Trying to get the offense started here with Javi Baez against Clayton Kershaw. Let's see what he is going to give us. That one is a hanger. I am on this one. See you later, baseball. Let's go. Not really getting the production from the middle of the lineup that I was expecting going up against the lefty. And that's one of the reasons... We only have two hits so far in this one, so we'll see if Keston can do something here. Is that one is roped, and man, this guy breaks. Anthony Rizzo has one of our only hits in this one, trying to add another one here with a runner on first base. Only three so far in this one. Looking to add more here as he gives me one, and I am on it, and he's going to boot it. Only 26 speed. He's safe. All right, Matt Chapman, if we get this up and in fastball, I'm sending it to the moon. We don't get the up and in fastball, but we do get a pitch to drive. One and two count on Pete Alonzo, looking to get him out this time. Curveball down. He's unable to lay off of it. Gets a good jump out of the box, but we get him. One, two count, looking to add another strikeout and a spin. But he looks like he's starting to get a little bit more contact with the curveball. But guess what? I don't give a crap. We're going back to it. Curveball. Sit down. Offense has been a little stale in this one so far. Only four hits against Kershaw. I was expecting more considering it's lefty and we have a righty dominant lineup. And hey, I'll take the spin. Kershaw finally able to get the sack bunt now. So we have a runner on second base. And that is going to drive in the run there. Frankie Lindor coming through for us. And I'm going to go ahead and take second base. Maybe get there. Oh, what? Slide with your feet first. That's stupid. Taking our first lead in this one, giving the ball back to Kershaw, trying to throw up some more zeros as Stan is going to make the weird catch. And he's going to lay off of it. So you know what? I got to go back to it because I don't believe that he can lay off it back-to-back -back pitches. Curveball. Sit down. It's not even worth commentating anymore, man. This guy just gets out one way or another every single time he just gets out. We're using his bat skin from the Home Run Derby a couple years ago, and he still can't hit the ball. But we'll see. Maybe, just maybe, he can do something. I mean, I am swinging at pitches like that, so that's not good. But I am taking this man out of the lineup after the game, and I'm putting somebody else out there. I don't know who it's going to be, but somebody else is going to take his position because he has been very 
very terrible, but come on, one and two count, maybe something hangy breaking ball, and hey, he's getting a hit, okay, maybe I should just shut up, I think the only pitch that card can hit is a hangy breaking ball, I'm pretty sure his one home run was off a hanging breaking ball as that is going to pull him off the bag and both runners are safe. We have to take advantage, man. We cannot screw this up. We need to take advantage of this situation that we do have as that one is down the line. It'll move him to third base. Maybe, I swear, if you get chooched. Okay, he's safe. Runners on first and third. Anthony Rizzo looking for his third hit here. That would give us another spin. And we really need that runner from third base to score as he gives me a breaking ball. Are you serious, man? Oh my gosh, he gets pulled off the bag again, and they're both safe. I'm not sure what my opponent is doing, but he misses two key plays there. And we do end up getting a run across because of it. So hopefully, we can make him pay for it some more. That is a hanger. Ah, man. Benito is definitely the X-Factor for us, and we need our X-Factor to come through for us as that is down in the zone. This one is going to make its way down. I'm going to try and score another run. He's going to cut me down at second base. We do get the run, though. Trying to keep the score locked. Where it's at, change up down right through it. We're creeping up on nine strikeouts with Clayton Kershaw. Fastball up in the zone. Sit down. Sticking with Kershaw for now in the seventh inning. Only at 68 pitches. This one hit really deep. Hopefully it gets foul. And it is going to be a foul ball. Holy cow. He really wanted the fastball. I gave it to him and he just got a little bit too excited as that one almost made it a 4-2 to ball game and lost us a spin. That would have been detrimental, but hopefully we can K him here. Matt Chapman over there, easy play, one out. Trying to get another inning out of Clayton Kershaw here. Sinker down in the zone, easy play for Lindor. Let's hit. John Carlos standing 0 for 3 in this one. He hasn't really been hitting very well either for us as this one is going to be roped because those haven't been falling. Looking for another strikeout, going with a curveball in the dirt, and he's not really getting them in the dirt anymore, and he's barely missing these pitches. I'm really thinking about going to the bullpen, but I gotta put my confidence in Clayton Kershaw. He's our number one, and he needs this game. I thought I was gonna miss that. Let's go with the changeup. Another deadly pitch that Kershaw does have. Definitely underuse it. Sit down. We will definitely be leaving some big spins on the board if we are unable to get two more hits and a run. So hopefully we can get that going. Is Rizzo looking for his third hit? Dang it. Just late squared up 101 and we are unable to get on base. That stinks. But hopefully we can get it going with Matt Chapman here. See what he's got for us. Not a very good game for him. I mean, defensively, he's always going to make the plays, but he's not really hitting the ball well as this one is going to be off the wall. So we're one hit away from 10. We have a two and two count. I think he's expecting a curveball. So I'm going fastball up in the zone. Can we set him down? That works. Two and two count. Getting close to 100 pitches with Clayton Kershaw. So we need to get these outs as quick as possible. And that helps. Two outs, 95 pitches. And Clayton Kershaw looking for the complete game. And he is going to get it here. I'll take a spin for a complete game. That's what I'm talking about. So a big win there for us. That does move us up to the wild card division at 628. But a very good game out of Clayton Kershaw. Shots. He's able to get 10 strikeouts, so that's three spins. We did win. That is four. We got five hits, five spins. We hit a home run. That is six, and then I don't think we walked at all, and we didn't get three hits with anybody. So, yeah, we get six spins plus the complete game, so seven. Not too bad. Let's head on over to the wheel. Here we go, guys. Back on the wheel. Let's see what we're going to do. We have seven spins, so let's jump right into it, starting off with the Marlins. Now on to spin number two. Let's see who we are going to get. It and the New York Yankees. Not going to lie, I didn't even spin the wheel for the Marlins just because I know I don't need anybody from them, but center field on the Yankees, I don't need that either. Now on to spin number three, already not adding anybody so far in this one. The Astros, okay, plenty of talent on this team. I would love to add Justin Verlander to the starting rotation, but we're going to get third base, Bregman. Okay, I'm going to add him to the team for sure. Adding Alex Bregman to the team a pretty good spin I loved using him early on in the year sold him a while ago but excited to use him again plenty of good flashbacks we could get on the Chicago White Sox so 
let's see which position shortstop i don't need a shortstop shortstop for the white Sox is that tim anderson flashback and i'm pretty close to getting him from getting to 600 stars so i'm gonna pick him up whenever i do get there texas rangers would love to replace bryce harper with joey gallo what are we gonna get and it is going to be left field the diamond joey gallo is an absolutely absurd price so i'm just gonna go with the live series one i still really like that one here we go what are we going to get from the pittsburgh pirates and a catcher already on spin number six and we do add diamond jason kindle on that last spin definitely a very good card i i'm not spinning for the marlins on to our final spin let's see what team we're gonna get pretty disappointing getting the marlins twice I can't make this stuff up. So you guys can see the two upgrades we do get, Alex Bregman and Jason Kendall. I'm really excited to try this Kendall. I've seen a lot of people use him. The only thing about him is he only has silver defense, but hey, we'll work around it with that good of hitting stats. And Bregman is a card I used early on in the year and I absolutely raked with him. So he will be nice to have in the lineup, but that is going to do it for the video, guys. I appreciate all the support. If you are excited for another one as soon as possible, make sure to smash that like button. But until the next one, guys, have a good one.